Vlogineers, today we're going to check out Circuit Scribe. This is a kit that lets you sketch freehand circuits with conductive ink pens that bring your electronic creations to life. And if this looks cool to you, you can purchase it at the link in the description. And now we're going to unbox the Super Maker Kit and extra modules. Okay, so the Super Maker Kit is for ages 8 and up, and it comes with 17 pieces on the inside. So here it says switch on the fun. Power your doodles with conductive ink. Play with different magnetic modules. Discover the wonders of art and electricity. And this company also has a flying drone, which looks pretty cool. But now we're going to open it. Oh, here we go. Here are all of the pieces that they put. Okay, yeah, so this on this page, it tells what your modules do. It's, I guess, the contents of what's inside and the magic of the pen. And then this is an idea of how it will work. So we're going to draw with the pen and then use these circuits to connect them, to connect the lines. And then they're going to light up or something. All right, and now we're going to see what's inside. So, here we go. This is what it looks like. The first thing on top, to start here. And if you open it up, a few simple projects to get you started. The basics, experiment, and get creative. And then... Oh, an adventure Oh, oh cool. Book. Okay, so over here, this is pretty thick, actually. There's a lot of pages. Um, the first half of the book are many, many activities. So you can get an idea of how many things there are to do. But then, on the second half of the book, they give you a bunch of blank pages. So I'm assuming that's to make your own creations and stuff. Okay, and then moving on. Oh, the circuits. Okay, now these are the circuits, the 17 pieces of circuits, okay? Aside from the circuits, there's also a 9V battery and the magic pen. It's one of the most exciting things that we were looking forward to about circuit subscribe because it's really special. Every piece of circuit art starts with a circuit scribe pen. This amazing pen holds a non-toxic silver ink that creates electrical connections on a regular sheet of paper. Unlike other conductive pens, the quick dry circuit scribe pen acts like any other household rollerball pen. No shaking, no squeezing, and no streaking. Let's see what it says here. Steel canvas and other accessories are below. Okay, let's see what that is. So let's see what, what it is. Uh, okay, here's the steel canvas. There's a sticker sheet with a whole bunch of the same sticker. And then finally, this stencil is used along with the magic pen to make perfect circles. And, and those will be necessary lots. later on. And also lots. It's time to do hands-on experiments in our Circuit Scribe Inventor's Notebook. The first activity it says, try using your kit to light up an LED. Place the steel sheet behind the page. So this is hard. Oh, Oops, that's loud. It says to put it under the sheet. Okay, draw over the template and snap on the LED and the battery modules. You need at least a power module, an output module, and conductive ink to make a complete circuit. Over here, there's a picture of how our activity is supposed to look like. Okay, so what we're going to do is Brother is attaching the 9V battery to the to the power module. That's what it says. Okay, that's what it's called. Oh, good yeah. job. Okay. Oh, it's oh blue. and it's lighting up blue now, so which probably means it's good. Okay, and now I'm going to put this here. Oh, wait, we need the oh, electric yeah. Oh, pen. yeah, we need the... This you have, no, this is conductive ink pen. Oh, you have to draw up. So we no, we have to use these stencils actually. They'll help you. Like this. Uh huh. Okay, so we have one here and one here. I'm gonna fill them in. Okay. So we did all of the circles, and then now. Put a line between each one. Can you do that, brother? Not used 
Brother's going to turn it on. Hold on. And hopefully a light should light up here. And Go. Oh, good job. Okay. Blue and red. So that means we probably... Wait, hold on. Actually, I think red might mean we did it the wrong way. Blue. Yes. Blue. So blue means the correct way, actually. All right. And I'm going to turn it off. So this was just the first one. Time for the next. Okay, so for this next activity, we're going to draw an incomplete circuit and then get house uh, items around the house to see if they'll be able to conduct electricity and light up the circuit. And then we're going to turn it on. So of course right now it doesn't light up because we don't have anything connecting these two points. Try um, this rubber band. It still doesn't work, okay? And then paper clip. And for our final uh, mini experiment in this activity, we're going to see if it can travel through both of us. So, brother, put your index finger on one of them. I'm putting my index finger here. And then, on a count of three, we're going to high five and see if electricity no, can go no. through. Ready? We're gonna one, start. two, and three. <gasps> it's working. You can see a faint <laughs> blue light. Hold on. So, lay out your hand over here, and I'm going to keep tapping you. Ready? <laughs> oh, sorry. Works. That might take all. Sorry. And now we're going to add a new module, and it's called the switch. So, just like a regular light switch, if it's on then the light will turn on, and if it's off, the light will turn off. Okay, and it's on at full brightness. And all of a sudden, it goes back. And the circuit is off. <laughs> Okay, we're going to show you one more activity. This is the blinker module that we're introducing now. It's the gray one. And now that we've prepared everything, it's time to set up our circuits. <laughs> Uh-oh. Oh, there we go. Whoa, it blinks. Look. And it's finally like a... there's a green. That's one of my favorite colors. Besides red. And then I'm rotating it. Now I'm gonna make it go the fastest it can. This is probably my favorite so far since they, the lights actually move, so there's more interaction, I think. Oh, so no. this one's really cool. There's so many activities in this book that I don't think we could get them done in one day. So we're going to take a break for now and come back tomorrow. Hi, we're back. And by now we finished everything in the inventor's notebook. Once you're done with the activities here, you can do some more exercises using the knowledge you've learned by going to circuitscribe.com slash pages slash fun dash projects. And we're going to show you a couple of projects that we've made. So the first one comes from the climax scene from Back to the Future when uh, Marty McFly is racing uh, the DeLorean at 88 miles per hour towards the clock tower and trying to get the lightning to connect to his car so that he can go back to the future. So over here we have the DeLorean, of course, and the clock tower. This is the street, and then there's some lamp posts, and these are the wires that's connected. And we use the Circuit Scribe Magic Pen uh, to draw two dots here and two dots here, and we're connecting it so that the electric current can flow through and light up the back of the car. Okay, so I've put the LED light here at the back of the car. If it lights up, then that means that our thing is successful. So I'm gonna simulate the lightning striking the clock tower and turning this off. Ready, set, and... Yeah, it worked. Okay. All right, this is the next thing we've made. Our helicopter. Okay, this is how I made it. First of all, if you want to put circuits on the top, 
you need this magnetic board. And I glued every piece of paper except this one on top. Well, it is glued on the sides, but not in the middle. So I can still slide this through. All right, so I have the battery here. Uh, and then I have the LED, which just makes the blue lights. And finally, the best part, which is the motor. And this is our blade. Okay, I'm gonna put it here. Ready? Hold on. Wait, wait, no, no, no. Wait, let's put our stuffed animal for us. Oh, yeah. Here. And then, ready? Hit set. And now it's gonna spin. It's pretty sturdy. And now it's time for final thoughts about Circuit Sky. This was very fun. Uh, I especially like all the projects you can make, but also all the different types of modules, from the simple light-up LED to the buzzer and, and all the way to the spinning motor. That's probably my favorite, I think. And speaking of the motor, if you want to make the helicopter, you're going to need to get the extra modules pack because that's where the motor came from. And in the extra modules pack is a whole bunch of very cool stuff, including extra LED lights, extra different parts, and the motor. So I, I really recommend getting this. I like the concept of the magic pen, how it can conduct electricity, or else we wouldn't have all these cool projects. And if you like this product, you can order it at the link in the description. Bye bye. Motor. Motor.